The, one of the country's most celebrated choreographers and this year he marks a quarter century in the arts. Can you believe it? Well, he's an internationally around a dancer, choreographer, teacher, director and scriptwriter who has played a pivotal role in developing uh, the arts on the continent and in a particular dance. Well, we're talking about none other than Gregory Matoma who is the founder and executive director of Wiani Dance Theatre and has travelled a long road strewn with achievements and accolades since 1990. Now, in honor of this milestone, Makoma will be joined by members of the Vuyani Dance uh, Company, as well as Songbird, uh, Sbongile Kumalo, Vocal Harmony Group, The Complete Quartet, Fashion Designer, David Lale, and of course, the flamboyant Sumizim Songa, in a show titled Greg Makoma and Friends at the Lyric Theater next week. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning. 25 oh. years. My goodness, been all the way to the morning. <laughs> but you do this. You love this too much. I love it. I mean, I've been doing this for 25 mm. years. So really, this is my life. It's yeah. my calling. It's something that I think I was born to do. 25 years, though. That is really a long time. Take us back to when this journey first started. Well, you know, I lived quite close to a hostel. And over the weekends, I'll watch migrant laborers who are coming from different parts of Southern Africa. And I'll watch them doing their own traditional forms. I think my first love for dance started there. Mm -hmm. And at home, we had our a small television screen. Mm. At that time, it was a black and white. And Michael Jackson appeared. And yeah. I thought, wow, this is what I want to do with my body. Yeah. I want to move people. I want to change the landscape mm. of how I see things or how people see um, the world. Mm. So I started making work and taking the work to, to the world. Mm. And it's a reflection of my country. It's a reflection of my cultures and traditions. Mm. Let's talk about the events, uh, Gregory Makoma and friends. Who are these friends and why have they played such a pivotal role in your career? Well, I mean, the, the, the selected artists is really people who've been resilient in the industry mm. and also they've been making incredible work. Uh, David Lale as a fashion designer, Mams Mugino Kumalo as a singer mentor, mm. and she's been really a good friend of me as well. And also she's a patron of my company. Mm -hmm. So these are the people who are coming in also to say, let's celebrate with you. Mm -hmm. Let's celebrate for the legacy because we're creating this also a platform 
for young people to be celebrated as well. And we invited also some amazing Plongo, who we come from the same uh, town of mm, Orlando mm. East. And he's really is a good friend. And also he's been working quite consistently in the industry. Yeah. And um, what can we look forward to next week? And paint a picture for us of what this show is going to look like. Well, then it's a, it's a combination really of, of my history, of my work, and also um, a work of other young people. Like, for instance, we are directed by a young director, mm -hmm. um, Luanda Sidia, who's the 2015 Bank Young Artist. Yeah. And to bring on board such a culmination of artists and also um, our mentors and protégés working together. And 200 kids also we, uh, as part of our outreach project and now we're on stage with me as well celebrating this milestone. Mm -hmm. And how has dance evolved from the time that you started? I mean, right now, it's a put-together project. You know, David Lally comes in as a designer, the costume as well has also evolved. But what other differences have you seen in dance since you started? Well, and so um, uh, dance in this country has evolved um, quite hugely. And also that we are able to take it to, 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 uh, to all other stages around the world. That is not only something that is reflected in South Africa, but the world is mm. really opening up its doors and theatres for us to, to demonstrate our art. And I think that is a, it's a, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. And we've been doing it consistently as well mm. because it means we are innovative as a, as a country in the arts and also we have something to offer, which mm. is great. We've got our own stories to tell, which is also wonderful. All right. And talk to us about the journey that you've traveled so far. What are some of the highlights? I know there are lots, but sure. pick a few <laughs> <laughs> that you can talk with, highlight. Well, no, no, I think one of the highlights is also creating a company um, as a black contemporary dance company mm. um, in 1990. And this year we celebrate in 60 year, 16 years as a company, and that is on its own is a milestone to carry that and to be able to create employment for many young people uh, who are coming from different parts of the country, mm. coming and to work with us also in, a, in an environment that is sustainable, which is really really great for them. And also, I mean, winning awards. I've been, I've, um, I've been told that I'm the most awarded. Um, dancer choreographer in the country yeah. and, and possibly also in Africa. So that in its own, it's a, it's a milestone. Yeah. Okay, give us t details of next week's uh, event. Uh, it's happening on the 3rd and the 4th of December mm -hmm. at the Levick Theatre. Bookings are, are, are at computer tickets. So I urge everyone to go and watch this because it's really, it's going to be a spectacular I can only uh, imagine. Event. Thank you so much, Gregor Makoma. Congratulations again. 25 years is no small feat. Uh, internationally acclaimed choreographer and dancer Gregor Makoma speaking to us about his upcoming show. It's titled uh, Greg Makoma and Friends, in which he toasts his 25 remarkable years as a professional dancer at the Gold Reef City's Lyric Theatre on the 3rd and 4th of December.